Hey guys, it's Trix here and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. And we are here with a new pack called the Dream Home Decorator Game Pack, which I was very excited for. I saw the trailer at least four times, which is a complete issue, but we're not going to talk about that. That is not going to be addressed today. Anyways, so I decided to make a small little apartment um, and it's a family home with two bedrooms as well. I believe that you can fit at least three to four sims in it. Um, the parents room does have a double bed and I did include one of the new bunk beds that came in with the pack and as well as with the update. I tried to make this house a little bit more, um, a, a little bit more modern, but also meeting very still stylish yet comfy. And you know that there are kids that kind of live here. So I, it is a little bit more sporadic um, of a build that I decided to do. I would also like to say that these sectional couches are absolutely amazing. They make the room so much of a different feel and it brings so much comfort and livability to the home and that's kind of what I want to do with every build as well. I personally don't think that there is an item I do not like from this build. I just honestly love the storage space, the amount of clutter that you can kind of go through and then also can we please talk about this color scheme? It is absolutely gorgeous. Like there's these things where you don't need a big bright pop of color. Sometimes you would need complementing colors. And honestly, I appreciate I appreciate each swatch. <laughs> um, on stream on Twitch, I think a week ago now, um, I went through the entire uh, swatches on each and every item and I was amazed each and every time. Um, I do wanna say that uh, Sims 4 creators and the devs definitely did a great job on um, what the community asked for. Um, obviously there's gonna be some things where there's gonna be more things that we would ask for and we're unable to, but I mean, it is completely understandable. I'm completely happy with this right now. Um, as of recent, I have been working on a couple more projects just like this one, but I don't think they're gonna be in apartment form. Uh, they'd be actual legit livable homes on their own lot which you will see in the next time and if you do want to see videos kind of like this one or similar please remember to like comment and subscribe tell me what you want to see next or just tell me what you got going on i do stream four times a week at least on twitch.tv slash trick skills so if you ever do want to check me out I primarily do Apex content or Sims builds like this one. Segwaying back to what I was originally talking about, I honestly think the storage space or how they built up the storage space where you can put it onto the wall, it can make tiny building or tiny living so much more cleaner, so much more organized, or you can even make it more chaotic by like stacking more things on top of each other or putting more items within each other. I just feel like now there's more infinite possibilities to make different things work out with each other. You can even create more stories now uh, within your builds to make it a little bit more personable, which I have here today. The story in this particular apartment is that it's just a bunch of rambunctious younger preteens and two parents and one of them is um, always fairly busy. So I did put a lot of books around and a lot of knickknacks just to kind of show that not every like family home is pitch perfect. Everything's not straightened out. Like I, I made sure that, you know, I made that into account if that makes any sense. I do want to um, portray the uh, decorator packs career choice as well in one of the builds which I'm going to be doing in the near future. So if you do, like I said, if you do like this build right now um, and similar ones, there is a complete playlist um, that's called Sims 4 playlist and it has all my previous builds on that. Also, if you do want to ever download any of my builds um, similar to this one, I am on the EA gallery as well at Trix Kills that you can easily find. I do have builds that are not even on my YouTube because I would primarily just either stream them on Twitch or I would like play that on my own time. So I would usually just kind of upload that onto the EA gallery and then see if people like it. It's more of like an experimentation thing, I guess. There's a little bit of custom content in this one. Um, so if anybody would like the link to any of the specific items that I do put into this build, It'll be in the bio below. Um, just remember when downloading certain things, make sure that we are clicking on the proper things and going into the proper file. Recently actually got into custom content a few months ago and it is something that will never leave me because I will always look on the Sims resource every now and then 
and I always find something else. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be the last one. And it's never usually the last one. And it usually takes at least almost, almost a minute for my Sims 4 game to even upload with all the custom content that I do have. Now, if I wanted to, I can actually stream custom content. I don't know if it's something that you guys would be interested in. Um, like I said, just let me know. So now for the girls bedroom, I didn't want to particularly put just the color of pink because generally we do see that a lot more often. So I wanted to put a lot more colors into it. So I did put a little bit more purple the yellows and a very like orange like tone to it like I didn't want to put like a generic pink girls room that's something that I don't really like generally doing because I feel like regardless of gender or whatever I just feel like there's just so much to a person so I just wanted to make sure that I was implementing that within my builds I know it's just like tricks just put down the pink chair it is just a chair but to me it's just like oh you know like I'm expressing if I were to actually have this or if I was the actual child to like I like to put myself in the stories basically um it makes my creation so much more vivid so much more real um, and that's kind of what I want to do uh in my builds I am pretty proud of this build uh there is a lot of clutter and a lot of more uh, knickknacks that I can put in and that really honestly made it so much more nicer and so much more fuller with this pack as well like I don't I don't know if I've told you yet and I'm pretty sure I said it like at least twice in this video that this pack is great it is phenomenal um what I do want to say is that it only gave us one color or one color scheme of wallpaper uh and I mean it's not too bad I just feel like sometimes plain white walls are not always like you know gonna be it or the, the ideal theme um but this one's kind of okay i like the fact that it does have triangles it does add a little bit more of a, a pizzazz to builds i guess um and it does have um very not so bright and not so powerful color schemes too which i don't mind i just kind of wish we had more of them what i do want to say is that um the bed colors are phenomenal i love it because you can go with um very neutral tones or you can go with a little bit more of like a, a pop of color and i feel like having that option makes building so much more more of an experience i guess uh also with the closets here i feel like with this pack it's just so much more of an open space more of an open concept while keeping a lot more of the clutter and also keeping it more very close and tighten it to each other and like i just love the fact that it does that I did imagine that one of the parents was a stay-at-home mom or dad for the kids. Um, it's always good to have, you know, a good stable foundation. This apartment does have two bathrooms. I feel like with a family of four, it'd be kind of rude not to have two bathrooms just because of how crazy and chaotic I feel like their life would be. Um, I always feel like they're constantly moving, they're constantly doing things. Um, whether that be hobbies or outdoor activities, etc. Now for the kitchen, it is um, uh, taking most of the room. I did want to go for more of like a brown type of blue mellow feel. Um, you can see that I'm trying to play with different wallpapers. Like I, I want to create different kitchens or different settings every time that I build. Um, for the reason being, because I'm constantly learning on how to perfect my craft in simming or building. And I feel like it's always good. Anyways, I don't think I put a dining room in here, so I just used the island table um, as a, an area that where they can eat or they can socialize with each other. Like I said, I was trying to create like more of an open concept, but then also keep it very close and uh, very tight knit. I believe I put a chess table in here as well. Like I just wanted to make sure that it was a place to socialize, be around with family and friends, and then as well, of course, the living room would also be part of that as well i just feel like with this family it is one of those homes where they try to make do with the space and the or the amount of space that they have um and we like to invite family members over and friends over or co-workers and it's just a fun time to be around um and that's kind of what the vibe i was trying to go for throughout this entire video and now we are basically completing this build by adding a little bit more clutter and a little bit more knickknacks as well if you do enjoy the way that i build uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this one. And if you are interested, I am also on Twitch. Um, being really cool. So, that's that. I have future projects coming out as well within the next following month or so. So, keep an eye out. I do post Sims content every week or so, or at least every two weeks. 
Um, so keep a lookout on that. I do want to make my Sims building content a lot more frequent as well on this channel. If you are on Twitch, feel free to find me at twitch.tv slash trickskills. I do stream four times a week, which is Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. I'll see you in the next one at 3 p.m. PST. Please remember to stay hydrated, practice self-care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.